There are so many people these days who are getting new cameras or they already have new camera. Uh, they are learning photography. It is their hobby for now and they are thinking how to create passive income on the side. Well, folks, it was the same way for me. In 2007, I bought new camera and I started learning photography and actually earning passive income. And it's been years I've been selling on Shutterstock, Dreamstime, 123 Royalty Free, Adobe, Getty, and other stock agencies. I have close to 15,000 commercially licensed photos there. And in today's video, I'm gonna review my top 10 sellers. I'm gonna analyze them very closely and explain why they probably sell. So hopefully I can motivate you to create your top 10 selling photos on your own. And for the new faces, my name is Zinka Darla. I work as a photographer. I am a former model and few other things. I make tutorials, fun vlogs, and creative camera challenges. So you might want to hit the subscribe button. Shutterstock is absolutely the biggest seller for me when it comes to microstock photography. Now, I'm not an exclusive photographer there. I've been selling on other sites as well, such as um, Adobe, which is former Photolia, Getty, which is former iStock, um, Envato Marketplace, Pond5, Dreamstime, 123 Royalty Free, and a few other places. Until now, I've been selling mostly commercially licensed photos there. However, this month I started selling video or footage as well. Well, let's look at those top 10 sellers. Photo number one is here. I uploaded this photo in August 2012. The photo has been downloaded 4,690 times and so far earned $3,665. Just to give you an idea what you can expect from those numbers. Why is it such a high seller? First of all, this photo is timeless. Babies are gonna always look the same. The fact that I'm showing only the face and part of her body with just a white blanket makes it timeless. If I would put her in an outfit, the chance is that the outfit in a few years will become out of fashion, it will be outdated. The white blanket makes it very clean and very bright. I also placed it a little bit off the center in case they want to put any graphics there. Now, I've seen this photo being used on a front cover of a magazine. I also seen it um, on product packaging um, in stores such as Winners and in some European stores. She has very bright blue eyes and very, very nice face. So it makes her really stand out. Photo number two. A friend of mine gave me hair extensions, which sometimes I use for modeling shots. Well, as I was holding it in my hands in the home, I thought, you know what, I have nothing else to shoot today. I'm just gonna throw it on a piece of white paper, kind of wiggle it, move it around and snap a few photos and ah, just throw it on the stock. I didn't think anything of it. I thought it's just silly idea, whatever, I was bored. <clears throat> I'm just gonna shoot it for fun. Well, I had no idea. This will be such a high seller. I uploaded it in February 2009. This photo was downloaded 1,514 times. Again, it's very timeless. It's just hair. We all have hair. And it's on white, plain, isolated background. So they can take it even out if they want to, or they can put some graphics. And I've seen this photo being used in hair products and beauty salons. I love to play with liquid. I love to take photos of splashes and liquid and water and milk and all the stuff. It keeps me entertained for hours. It's a lot of fun. Well, the only problem is the aftermath, if, especially if you are working with, uh, working with milk, uh, you need to do a lot of cleaning. I took a whole bunch of photos of different flowers in the summer outdoors, also in the studio throughout the year. And I took a whole bunch of photos of different splashes with milk, of different splashes with water, different liquids. Then I uploaded everything in Photoshop or selected photos in Photoshop and I combined them together. I admit it was hard to make. I spent hours creating this whole set and I have many different flowers with many different splashes. I have to say it was well worth it. This digital art photo was uploaded in August 2012 and so far it has been downloaded 
837 times. It says because it is unique and very bold. It is complex concept and it can mean lots of different things and possibly being used for many things. I've seen this photo being used on many different book covers. I've seen it used in a paint store or paint buckets on their products and also on some gardening websites. Number four, this photo I have uploaded in April 2013 and it has been downloaded 761 times. It certainly shows great female body physique. It's on a plain black background and the light I used made the body pop. I like to lit fitness models that way because it shows their muscles a little bit more. Now it is an anonymous photo, so there's no face, it's only the body which makes it timeless as well. I photographed this model many, many, many times and I showed many times her face in fitness shots, but simply this photo is the most sold, I think because there's no face in it, it's strictly just a body. It can be used practically for anything. I've seen this photo being used actually in medical articles, I've seen it in the gyms, um, in fitness magazines and some fitness products. Photo number five is another general photo. It's simply just water splashing out of glass. I uploaded this photo in 2012. Again, it was a lot of fun taking the photo. I was just throwing a nice pieces of ice in a glass and the water was splashing and bonus, it was much easier to clean up. This photo was downloaded 484 times. And again, I had to combine a few splashes in Photoshop. So it was a bit complex and time consuming thing to do. Because it is on the black background, it pops and you can clearly see it's water splashing. Simple and complex at the same time. When it comes to usage, I couldn't really find anything in Google, so I'm not really sure where the photo has been used, but hey, it's been downloaded many, many, many times, so it must be out there somewhere. <laughs> Photo number six, I uploaded this photo of a model in this shimmery party dress in September 2009. So it has been there for some time as well. It has downloaded 494 times and I simply added those light spots uh, to the photo in Photoshop. Now, I didn't know how to use Photoshop that well back then, so now I would have done probably something more advanced. It shows real expressions and movement and it is just on a black background. I have moved the model a little bit to the side. So again, there is more room on the side and they can put any graphics they like. Now, this photo is clearly usable for parties, celebrations, New Year's Eve um, and stuff like that. And that's actually where I've seen this photo being used. Photo number seven doesn't really sell anymore, but it's still topping the top 10 most sold photos. I uploaded this shot in March 2007 and it has sold 439 times. All we did was have this model just standing and kind of move her head in different directions. And I had a makeup party literally standing there blowing <laughs> air on the model with a leaf blower. Yeah, well, it was, it was a lot of fun. We had a good laugh over it. And as you can see, the hair is moving very nicely. So it can be very clearly used for hair products, uh, hair salons, beauty salons. And that's actually where I've seen it again being used. Photo number eight, I have uploaded in April 2013 and it has been downloaded 428 times. Now, obviously I had to take photos of each post separately and I also uploaded each post as a separate photo. Then I combined all the poses in Photoshop and made one big yoga sequence. I knew that if I'm gonna show the whole sequence or the whole fitness exercise, it will be probably downloaded a lot. They always like the whole sequence. The fact that she has the physics she has and she's wearing very white plain outfit makes it very timeless, makes it very clean and bright. I have seen the photos in different yoga articles, yoga magazines, fitness magazines, and also in medical articles. Here is one of newer photos I uploaded to stock. Uh, photo number nine, I uploaded this photo in May 2016 and so far has been downloaded 364 times. It is just a male model wearing black shirt on white plain isolated background. Why is it so popular? Well, obviously he's very handsome and he is commercial type, but mainly it is because of his ethnicity. Most of the photos on stock sites are photos of Caucasian models. Whenever you upload somebody different, like 
India or even mixed different races together, you will see a huge spike in sales. I have seen this photo being used in positivity articles, fitness and men's fashion sites. Last photo I have here, I have uploaded in October 2012 and it has been downloaded 167 times. I did this a very simple casual session in the park. I had them just walk around, casually sit and chat. It was very simple and easy shoot. The fact that they are so relaxed, nicely dressed, have very nice smiles and faces and they are the right age category. That's what makes this photo sell. Everyone tends to take photos of younger models and a lot of people forget about this generation, which is a big mistake. There is a very high demand in older models and all those of older models on stock mainly. Now, I have placed a couple a little bit on the side again, so if they want to put some graphics or writing, they can. I have seen this photo being used on life insurance, health and fitness website. As you've seen these top 10 selling photos, I have to admit that there were some repeated photos from the same set between, like a few more baby photos, a few more liquid photos, a few more hair photos, but I skipped it on purpose because I wanted to show you the variety of shots. I hope you got motivated and got some ideas uh, of uh, what to photograph. Now, the biggest advice to you, don't just copy and recreate these top selling photos or other top selling photos on Shutterstock. There is a chance they might not be selling for you at all for many different reasons. Just get a few points of what I was talking here in today's video and try to brainstorm and use your own resources, your own models, your own uh, locations, your own items and come up with your own top selling shots. If you see that there is a certain shot in your portfolio which is a very high seller, try to create more of these. Recreate them or make some slight changes or maybe use the same model in different situations. That's the key of creating your top selling photos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked today's video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for all future videos. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button so you know when the next video is up. Let me know in comment section below if you're thinking about shooting for stock, if you're already shooting for stock, what works for you, what doesn't, what your frustrations are, what your feelings are, or simply say hello. You know that I always love to hear from you and you know that I will always respond. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Ahoy.